I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Come on saints join me I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains, no chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Sing it with me again I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me it's who I choose to be. Sing with me, I'm free. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Come on, sing it again. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it with me, I'm free. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me I choose to be I choose to be free I choose I choose to be free I choose I choose to be free I choose to be I choose to be He is a mighty God this morning He is a mighty God And he whom the Son of God sets free Is free indeed I choose to be free hey, hey. I choose I'm free indeed Come on sing it with me I'm free indeed in Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be I'm free indeed I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose I choose I choose to be free I choose I choose to be Mighty God you are this morning Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your people on this morning. Everyone under the sound of my voice, minister the word of God to them. Bring strength, bring encouragement, bring direction. Lord David said, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Minister to us. We want your wisdom. We want your knowledge. We want your understanding. You said, seek and we'll find. Ask and we'll receive. Knock and it will be open. We come seeking you on this morning. Bless your people. Pour your love out on them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. Well, good morning to you, precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Isn't our God just absolutely awesome? He is absolutely awesome. You know, this entire week... And I was sharing scriptures on prosperity with you. But on this morning, I want to talk about rewards of hard work. Because I never want to come off as a preacher that's making it look like prosperity is just magic. Or, you know, for God to increase you and entrust you with wealth. That it's just going to fall in your lap like cherries off of a tree. That's not what the scripture teaches. And so... I want to take you into the word on this morning. We're talking about rewards of hard work because I do not want anyone to ever get the wrong impression that because God promised that he's going to prosper you and that the blessing of Abraham belongs to you, I don't want you to get the impression that you can just sit around and twill your thumbs and it's just going to fall in your lap because that's absolutely false. That's not what the Bible teaches. Amen? So I want to take you into the Word of God. In the book of Proverbs, we're going to look at probably about nine or 12 scriptures on what the word of God teaches about hard work and what hard work accomplishes. Now that's not a popular word in our day and time because people, people in general, it's, it's human nature actually to be lazy. It's human nature to expect someone to put it in your hands without you having to work hard for it. Now, there are some cases where people didn't have to work hard for it, where God just supernaturally blessed them, but 
That's the exception and not the rule. I want you to hear me. But most cases, if you read your Bible closely, the people that God blessed, those were people that were willing to work hard and God got behind them and blew their minds. First scripture is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. And I'm reading these from the New Living Translation. Listen to the word of God. Proverbs 10, verse 4. Lazy people are sown poor. Hard workers get rich. That's the word of God. Lazy people are sown poor. Hard workers, you got to work hard. It's not just going to fall in your lap, friends. You're going to have to work hard. And I know many of you, I, I know a lot of you work hard. I ain't crazy. Some of you are raising kids. Some of you are single parents raising kids by yourself. But what you got to do is in the middle of your hard work, ask God to show you. Ask him to speak to you. Ask him to give you some direction. I'll ask him to show you an opportunity that would bless your socks off. If you know what I mean. That's the key as well. You know, one of the greatest keys to prosperity is being able to hear the voice of God and following the leading of the Holy Ghost. If you look at the life of Isaac, we shared about that, about Isaac a few days ago. Isaac heard from God. God spoke to Isaac and told him what to do in the midst of famine. Are you listening to me? I want to go into the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 11. A hard worker has plenty of food but a person who chases fantasies has no sense a hard worker has plenty of food you know the bible says in proverbs 28 and not proverbs deuteronomy 28 god says i'll bless the work of your hands he told the children of israel i will increase the work of your hands if you want god to bless it you got to do something faith without works is dead being alone most people think just because they pay their tithes it's going to fall inside their laps that's not what i see in scripture now watch this proverbs chapter 12 verse 14 wise words bring many benefits and hard work brings rewards the bible says in all labor in all work in all hard work there is profit and look while you are believing god to get you a better job be careful that you don't begin to despise the one that you have i believe a lot of people make that mistake there's nothing wrong with believing god to increase you but you got to be faithful, you got to be honorable and cherish the fact that God is using that job right now to provide for you. But if you be faithful in that which is least, Jesus said, if you be faithful in that which is least, then God will trust you with more. But we got to be faithful with the little bit that we have. Show up to work on time. Don't be the first one to leave. Stay, quit texting and being on the telephone when you should be working and doing what you're supposed to for your boss man. You know, Jesus said, whatever you do, even for your boss, do it as unto the Lord. So quit fooling around. If you have a job, do it. Finish your assignments on time. Don't be lazy about it. Put your best because whatever you do, Jesus said, you are doing it as unto the lord now i know this is going against what a lot of people are wanting to hear but i'm not in the business of itching your ears i'm in the business of preaching the gospel of jesus christ the real word of god the uncompromised word of the living god watch this proverbs chapter 12 verse 24 listen to this work hard and become a leader be lazy and become a slave Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. Look, my dad had a fourth grade education, but my dad was a hard worker, taught himself, taught himself to read. My dad was a, he was a pastor, assistant pastor, but he was a hard worker. He had a bus company, a taxi company, and a construction company. My dad was a hard worker. He served God, but I watched God bless the work of my dad's hands. 
He saved his money. He invested it wisely. And because he was a hard worker and used wisdom, God increased my dad and entrusted him with much, but it didn't fall in his laps. When most people were sleeping, my dad was up studying his Bible. I used to run, I used to go on, on, the, on our school bus early Saturday mornings. I, I would run in the bus around seven, eight o'clock in the morning. My dad would be in there with his Bible in his hands, studying, reading the word of God, pouring over the word of God, studying, crying out to God in prayer, meditating. And as a result of him seeking God, guess what? God blessed him. Do you know that's what Proverbs says? God says in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, those, he said, I love those that love me. And those who seek me early will find me. God said I, in Proverbs chapter 8, he said, I will bless you with durable riches. He said, I will bless you. I will give you wealth. I will increase you. But you got to be willing to work hard. Seek the face of God. Even if you got to do it an hour a day, just give it your best. Watch God bless you. <laughs> My God, I feel this. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. Lazy people want much but get little. But those who work hard will prosper. Are you hearing me? Lazy people want much but get little. But those who work hard will prosper. That's the word of God. Listen to Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11. Wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. I watched my dad's wealth grew over time. Are you hearing me? It grew over time. Some people got jealous of him. But I got news for them folk who were jealous. It didn't fall in his lap. Whilst my dad was studying, whilst he was doing his research, whilst he was working hard, getting up early in the morning, they were knocked out sleeping on their beds. When my dad worked hard and come home late in the evening, people would have already gotten off of work hours before him. They sleeping. My dad worked hard. And as a result of his hard work, God blessed him and increased him. Let's keep going in the words, yeah? Listen to this, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 5. I love this verse. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. But hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. There's nothing wrong with working hard for your money. You ought to be glad. You ought to be proud of yourself that you are a child of God. I'm working hard. I take my job serious. I know my boss may not be the easiest person to get along with. Some of them are unfair with you, but you do your part. You work hard. Walk with integrity. Show up to work on time. When you take your lunch break, don't take a whole 45 minutes when you know you should only take 30 minutes. Walk in integrity. You know God's watching what we do in the small things. My God, if he can't trust you to be faithful in that which is small, why would God get you another job that's making more money if you can't even be faithful with the job you got? I mean, that's a joke. That's against the word of God. That prayer is not going to be answered. I'm sorry. We, we got to come clean with God. Are you hearing me? You got to have integrity. Show up to work on, show up a couple minutes early. Don't be the first one to leave. Ask your boss, is there anything else you need done? Blow their mind. Just blow their mind. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 19. A hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. Stay away from get-rich-quick schemes. We all heard them. We all tried them, and they were flops. Anything that's promising you that it's going it's to just fall in your hands. Man, that's a joke. Now, we do serve a God. Hear me out now. There's a balance to this. Wait a minute here. Someone's been healed. Look, look. Someone's been healed on their right, on their right hand. The, this, the right finger next to the small finger have just been healed 
by the power of God. Just receive your miracle and make sure you let us know what God have done for you. But I want you to hear me real good. There's a balance to this. There are instances, it's all through scriptures, where God give his people a 24 hour miracle. Where he just supernaturally turned things around. I mean, God gave Israel the wealth of Egypt in one day. Those are instances, but I would say those are the exception to the rule. Everywhere else through my Bible, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Daniel, David, they worked hard and God blessed them. Let's keep moving. Listen to the Proverbs 31 woman, the virtuous woman. She is energetic. This Proverbs chapter 31 verse 17 and 18. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. Oh my God. I'm married to a Proverbs 31 woman. My wife works hard. She gets the job done. I'm glad I'm married to her. I'm happy God put her by my side to be a helpmate. <laughs> my wife is a hard worker. Sometimes I got to make her stop. Sometimes she have to make me stop. We work hard. It's not luck. Are you hearing me? It's not luck. It's the blessing of God, but it's also hard work because faith without works is dead being alone. Faith without works, I say faith without works is dead being alone. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Wow. Work hard, saints. Now look, I'm not saying you don't work hard. I know a whole lot of you that's a part of this broadcast. I know how hard you work. But I believe God wants you to realize that your hard work it has not gone unnoticed by Him. God's going to bless the work of your hands. I said, God, I said, God is going to bless the work of your hands. You will not always struggle, but you be faithful in that which is least. And watch my God. Watch what he is going to do. This is his word. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, glory to God. He'll make it good. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. Father, bless the work of the hands. Bless your people under the sound of my voice on this morning. Those who have been knocking and knocking and knocking, and it seems like no doors will open, I join my faith with them in the name of Jesus to encourage them not to give up. Open the door. Give them the favor, God. Give them favor. Give them favor. Give them favor. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great, how great thou art. You are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship. Sing it with me this morning. Awesome. An awesome God, come on, how great thou art, you are God, you are God, and mighty are your miracles, we stand in awe of your holy name, Lord we bow and worship, listen, I want to give you a chance on this morning to sow a seed into the kingdom of God, to stand with the work of God. We know what the Lord Jesus says. When you give, it comes back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give, seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account that address is paypal.me 
forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. PayPal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can mail your checks and money orders into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. Never forget, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We care about you deeply. We are believing God with you for your breakthrough, for your turnaround, for your miracle. And we don't take what you are doing for granted. God sees what you are doing. We love you. We appreciate you. Awesome God. Sing it with me. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles come on we stand in awe of your holy name of your holy name lord we bow lord we bow and worship you 